All right, Miss Telefero, how's everybody doing out there? So officially the NBA season is done. We're heading into NBA free agency, in free agency 2019 with a lot of steam, a lot of gas behind this one. Big time injuries have affected free agency, all that great stuff. The Warriors lost a championship. It's a, yo, know, it's a crazy time in the NBA right now. So the new NBA champion, Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors, they got an interesting summer up, uh, up coming up for these guys as well. They won this championship. They went on this magical run. You go out, you fire the coach of the year. Yes, they did that. Dwayne Casey, they fired him. They fired him and they went and hired Nick Nurse, no head coaching experience. They go out, they got DeMar DeRozan, their franchise guy, a guy who had just like a year or two ago re-signed with the team. He wanted to play his entire prime in Toronto. Uh, Masai Ujiri goes out and makes the trade of all trades. He trades DeMar DeRozan for Kawhi Leonard. You get a lot of backlash from the fans. They're like, why would you trade for this guy, Kawhi Leonard? He doesn't even want to be there. He's made it clear that he wants to be in Los Angeles. You go out, you get off to a good start, but Kawhi Leonard's not playing a lot. And it becomes that same narrative for the Toronto Raptors like every year. A good regular season team could be even a great regular season team, but when it becomes playoff time, they don't know how to respond. They can't win. Kyle Lowry goes away. That same narrative, but it was not the same narrative this time around. As you continue to rest Kawhi Leonard, his body got stronger. He got more confidence. The Raptors are good enough. They're a veteran-led team. They're able to win regular season uh, games without Kawhi Leonard. They even beat Golden State in Golden State. Golden State was pretty much 100%, and that was without Kawhi Leonard. You head to that February trade deadline. You go steal Marcus all away from the Memphis Grizzlies. You get ready to make this playoff push. You're pretty much healthy outside of Ananubi, but you pretty much got your core group there. Fred Van Fleet, Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, Kawhi, Marcus Saul, Serge Ibaka, Pascal Siakam. This team, they lose game one of the playoff. They lose in, uh, to the Orlando Magic game one. They win the next four. They have a grueling seven game series that ends with a Kawhi Leonard buzzer beater. You go on, you lose the first two games into the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo gets locked up by Kawhi Leonard. You get to the finals. And yes, there were a lot of injuries on the Warriors side, but a championship doesn't come with an asterisk. The Warriors get dethroned by the Toronto Raptors. You do all that great stuff. You rest Kawhi, you offer him a penthouse. You tell him he never got to pay for another meal in his life. And here's where the video starts. Reportedly Kawhi Leonard is still Still heading out the door. He is still letting it be known with his core group that the Los Angeles area is where he wants to be. And it's looking like right now he will end up a Los Angeles Clipper. I know Toronto Raptor fans, y'all hate that. Y'all on y'all high horse right now. Y'all just won this championship. Y'all want Kawhi to stay because now y'all getting greedy in the back of y'all minds. Y'all thinking repeat mode. Nah, bruh. Kawhi Leonard gave y'all one of those historic runs. It was a one year ordeal. He has not changed. That's the thing about Kawhi Leonard, he's even killed. So maybe some of those things that you've offered him might wow someone else, but he's got his mind made up. He's, it's just, this is a career move for him. He wants to be close to his home, close to his hometown, right? So he's got a home that's close to his hometown and that's where he wants to be close by. He doesn't like the cold necessarily. Nothing against his teammates, but look, he won y'all a ring. Y'all can't be mad. Y'all can't be mad. Kawhi Leonard is reportedly still on the way out, head into the Los Angeles Clippers when free agency starts. I know that's a gut check for the Raptors, but it, the blow gets softened because y'all got a ring out of this. You can't be mad. You have a championship that y'all can cherish forever. So don't worry about free agency in July. Just continue to celebrate what just happened in June. And that's the franchise's first NBA championship and Kawhi Leonard was the catalyst of that one-year run. But it looks like all it will be is a one-year run. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities, I talk sports, I still represent the culture. Hey, the kids, they you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.